low demand, high expenses, customers resistance. This year will be one of the most challenging for all automakers when it comes to electrification, and it looks like Ford will suffer in particular. Not so long ago, Ford was projected as one of the frontrunners in this EV transition. Today, it suffers the most with numerous recalls, quality issues, customer dissatisfaction, and an inability to crack the EV economy and start making a profit. Ford CEO is shocked as the EV fiasco completely destroys Ford's reputation, and we have seven reasons to prove it. Number seven. Ford Mach-E recalled again. Last October, Ford recalled its all-electric crossover again. After more than 100 complaints and an investigation from the National Traffic Safety Administration, it turned out that the Mach-E has a serious problem with overheating battery contactors, a small device that's responsible for deciding which battery components send power. As a result of this overheating, the vehicle may not start or may lose power. According to the investigation, there are two main causes of overheating. One is DC charging, while the other, way more intriguing, is the repeated hard acceleration. In other words, the latter means that the electric Mustang can accelerate quickly, but only for a short time. Apparently, endurance isn't the word we could relate to this all-electric crossover. Eventually, Ford recalled 35,000 electric Mustangs last October. Owners were called to visit local dealers, which would replace the problematic high-voltage battery junction box free of charge, of course. As some owners fixed this problem on their own before the recall was issued and paid for the repair, the Blue Oval Company decided to make them eligible for compensation. Number 6. F-150 Lightning Fire Incident Another event that had quite a negative impact on Ford's reputation was a fire incident that happened about a year ago. You've probably heard about EV fire incidents that happen every now and then. Public places, charging stations, car crashes, you've probably seen EVs burning in such places. But in Ford's case, things went even further. Namely, the incident happened at Ford's lot at the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center when an F-150 Lightning caught fire and damaged two more trucks. The fire incident forced the Blue Oval Company to stop production of this electric pickup for more than a month. The investigation showed that the cause of the fire was a shortage in a high-voltage battery, most likely during DC charging at a high state of charge. Ford blamed the supplier for this faulty design where the cathode aluminum tabs made contact with an anode electrode material, causing an internal short circuit at the high state of charge as we've just mentioned. Anyway, Ford issued a recall for just 18 units produced in January and offered battery replacement free of charge. Number 5. F-150 Lightning Recalls The aforementioned fire incident was the reason for issuing one of several recalls. Others were related to completely different things which only raised suspicion about Ford's ability to maintain desired quality control something that the Blue Oval Company has been struggling with the internal combustion cars lately as well. One of these recalls was related to a software issue that caused the truck to get stuck in off-road mode. What's particularly interesting is that the problem would occur after an over-the-air software update to version 6.3.0. After this update, there were several cases of the electric F-150 remaining stuck in off-road mode. The thing with off-road mode is that it turns ESC pretty much off completely, which may be beneficial during off-roading, but can be quite dangerous on the road higher speeds. The truck would still display that the ESC is off, but some drivers may not notice it, which would eventually increase the risk of a crash. So the only solution was to issue a recall for several thousands of models built in 2022 and 2023. What's even more problematic is that several more recalls were issued because of problems that aren't necessarily associated with the new EV technology or software bugs. No, the F-150 Lightning was also recalled for things like a rear light bar issue, cabin coolant heater system, and tire pressure monitoring system. Number 4. F-150 Lightning's Questionable Performance the recent 2023 JD Power Customer Service Index study clearly showed that EV owners are less happy than owners of internal combustion cars when it comes to service experience due to numerous recalls. But that's not the only thing that troubles them. In the case of the electric F-150, the main reason for dissatisfaction is the overall capability of the truck. First of all, there's the matter of maximum towing capacity, which is significantly lower compared to gas-powered counterparts. It goes between 7,700 and 10,000 pounds, while at the same time, the ICE F-150 easily tows 13,000 pounds or more. But the max ratings are the least important, we believe. The more problematic part is the battery performance because it drains out much quicker under heavy exploitation. In ideal conditions, the F-150 Lightning can make between 230 and 320 miles on a single charge, depending on the battery size. In reality, things are much different. For example, AAA took a test recently and loaded the electric F-150 with 1,400 pounds of sandbags. The 
range went down by nearly a third, considering that the loaded pickup was able to make 210 instead of the claimed 300 plus miles. Motor Trend's towing test exposed range issues even more. Namely, three trailers were used in this test, weighing between 3,140 and 7,218 pounds. These were towed with the F-150 Lightning Platinum with a claimed range of 300 miles. After the test, the results were beyond disappointing as the range was between 115 miles with the lightest and just 90 miles with the heaviest trailer used in this test. Number 3. Farley's Reality Check in Ford's latest electrical vehicle adventure, Jim Farley, Ford CEO, had the opportunity to encounter all the issues EV owners have been dealing with from the first phase. He took a trip from California to Las Vegas on Route 66 and faced a couple of challenges of owning an EV, particularly in terms of charging. Besides more stops than you would usually take with a gas-powered F-150, there was also a kind of a letdown in terms of the overall experience related to the charging troubles. While at one of the stops in Baker, California, Farley got the opportunity to use a 300 50 kilowatt charger and enjoy the convenience of fast charging. Things were completely different when he visited a popular charging depot in Coalinga, California, where he was forced to use a low speed charger. The stop took about 40 minutes to charge, only 40% of the battery. Farley shared his experience on X, formerly Twitter, stating that charging has been pretty challenging and then gave a quick retrospective with the following words It was a really good reality check of the challenges of what our customers go through and the importance of fast charging and what we're going to have to do to improve the charging experience. Was this trip enough for Farley to realize that most consumers don't feel optimistic about electrification and why they would hesitate with the transition? We think so. Number 2. Ford is losing a lot of money on EVs. It's no secret that car makers still haven't cracked the EV economy and that they're still losing money, but Ford is an ultimate money loser in this field according to the latest data. Namely, just like any other manufacturer, Ford is still struggling to optimize the production of electric cars. At the same time, EV investments have been going up constantly, which has led to massive losses on every EV sold. In Ford's case, that number measures in dozens of thousands. During the first half of the year, the average loss per EV sold was around $32,500. In the third half, that number went up to an astonishing $36,000 due to further incentives and discounts the company has been giving on its electric models. This led to a pretty bizarre situation where both EV sales and losses are record high. We still don't know the exact loss, but back in summer, officials estimated a total loss of $4.5 billion on EVs alone in 2023. With that loss in mind, as well as the fact that EV growth is slowing down as more and more people realize that this EV transition won't be as fast and smooth as some expected, it doesn't surprise that management has decided to push out money and postpone some of the investments in order to save capital. Number 1. Scaling Back F-150 Lightning Production this leads us to probably the most obvious indicator of Ford's EV fiasco. The Blue Oval Company is slowing down the production of its most important EV prospect, the all-electric F-150. Due to the lack of demand, the company decided to cut production by half and operate in just one shift in 2024. This means that the production capacity will go down by 1,600 units per week instead of the initially planned 3,200 pickups, which clearly indicates that the demand is significantly lower than the management was projecting. Experts estimate that about 1,400 workers from Ford's Rouge Electric Vehicle Center will be impacted by this decision. On the other hand, officials clearly stated that there were no plans to slow down the production of traditional internal combustion F-150 and F-Series in general, as some sources were suggesting. Instead, the production of Ford's most important model, which is built in Dearborn and Missouri, will continue at the same pace and continue to bring the majority of profit for the company. Thanks for watching and see you next time.